71% of pastors report being extremely stressed or highly stressed, and 90% work 55 to 75 hours per week, feeling fatigued and worn out every single week. So how do you get off the treadmill and get some of your energy and time back? Well, stay tuned because in this episode, we're going to give you the one principle that's going to help you stay on your A game and get refreshed all the time. Here we go. I remember there was a period of time back when probably this guy was about a junior hire or senior hire that uh, at the church I was serving, I was going nonstop day and night where I had six, I counted them up, numbers guy, 65 days in a row. I think it was in a March, April, May period of time that I was working the day, doing something with church and at night. It just mm-hmm. didn't stop. And I'm, and, and of course, I'm moving to a point of absolute exhaustion. And it's story after story, uh, you've heard them, I've experienced it. Uh, I'm sure you've come mm-hmm. along pe- periods of time where ministry burnout becomes a very, very yeah. real thing. Yeah. And so we want to talk to you today about how it, how it is that as a pastor, you can avoid ministry burnout right. because you can, but yeah. you've got to give some attention, uh, specific attention to it. Well, and I think that ministry burnout is a fear that sometimes people have too. I remember even in um, you know, college, going to Bible college. You know, yeah. you talk about ministry burnout. Like, well, we don't want to burn out in ministry. And, yeah. You know, well, and you then, know, you get, then you get into church and nonstop, it's coming at you. Yeah. And so the key is knowing how to do that. And so. So we're going we're gonna to talk about that ministry burnout today. Yep. Um, it, you know, you you remember uh, everybody's got the image of the uh, Energizer Bunny who's just going on and on and on and on. Well, guess what? You're not the Energizer Bunny. You're not Superman, Superwoman. You, they, you have to have periods of time to rest, refresh, and so on. And so we want to talk about exactly how that can happen. You can have vibrant, um, fulfilled ministry without burning out. For the long haul, for I might the, add. For the long haul, no. exactly. So. And, and it's all based on a the principle that a glass can only spill what it contains. And uh, so Jonathan's had a great illustration of that here that I've heard him use from time to time. Used this before. So oh, this, this right here, I okay. happen to have it. This little is my, object lesson. This is what I'm using today. Okay. For, this is for those listening and not okay. watching on YouTube. A uh, little plug to subscribe on YouTube if you haven't yet done so. But okay. this is my 40 ounce uh, stainless steel oh. water bottle that nice. I use often for drinking. I'm using it today, actually. Okay. And uh, of course, you can hear a little bit of uh, waters in here. But you better you can... shake that a little more. Okay. Well, there you go. Now there's you the water. Hear, but yeah. you can tell it's not full. That is not full. And uh, the reality is, once this thing is empty, I'm not giving myself any more water until I go and refill it back refill up. The water. And so that's the whole concept: is this thing right here can only spill what it contains. And once once it's empty, there's no more spilling. Right. There's no more pouring out. There's more. I, you know, I'm not getting anything else out of it. And that's the idea for ministry and for us as ministry leaders is we can only give what we have inside us exactly. uh, energy wise emotionally uh and so on and so that's why we have to take care of ourselves first exactly you know the stress on pastors is going through the roof and we are uh have just walked through and are uh, still walking through in a lot of quarters the um uh, the the greatest period of time of stress coming on pastors because of what we're having to deal with with COVID nineteen yeah. and all that's swirling around yeah. us. How do you lead a pastor? How do you lead a church when you're not able to get uh, pa- uh, people in the in the church? And some are open, some are closed. So the reality is. Yeah. While all this is going on, you've got to take care of yourself. Yeah. If you don't take care of yourself, these stresses are only going to get worse and well, worse. Well, and I want to mention a stat that is uh, very crazy to think about. And this is before COVID-19, of yeah. course. This yeah. is a couple of years ago. But 71% of pastors report being extremely stressed or highly stressed. Yeah. And then 90% of pastors work between 55 and 75 hours a week. Wow. So there, there's just so much giving. In, yep. Yep. And and if you're uh, involved in vocational ministry, uh, you know this to be true. You, you've experienced this yourself. And so it's just uh, something we have to be mindful of. And, you know, we, and we've all heard when you've been on an airplane, you've all heard the flight attendant comes on and says, you know, near the end, they say, now here's the oxygen mask. And when the oxygen mask drops, if you have a traveling companion or a child, who do you put the mask on first? 
you put the mask on your, for yourself first. Yeah. And that so that you're able yep. to take care of the child. Right. And that's the same principle yeah. you have to have in the local church as a pastor. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. You have to be intentional oh, about yeah. that. I yeah. mean, if you're going to do that, uh, because we know that to be true, but life happens. Oh, yeah. Ministry happens. Counseling appointments happen. Yeah. Crisis happens. All these things happen. And so it's just like we're pulled from all these different directions. And, of course, if you're in a more rural setting or, you know, a smaller community, then, you know, you're kind of, quote, unquote, the person. Yeah, and you, you and, do it all. Yeah, and you do it also. Then, you know, you're getting all the phone calls late at night and all that. And so being intentional about how are you going to um, take care of yourself first so that way you can then give the oxygen mask yeah. to everyone else when when things go wrong well and the reality is um you as a pastor you need to have somebody who's walking the journey with you now certainly if you're married you have your spouse walking the journey with you and that's the number one person but to have a uh, to to intentionally make a move to have a mentor walk with you now you don't necessarily call somebody and say hey joe will you be my, my mentor but there's there's there are probably people, well there certainly are there are people the lord has placed in your life that have that are a step or two ahead of you. And you need to be taking advantage of that relationship yeah. to help That's pour right. into yourself. That's part of uh, what we're talking about here with uh, the Leaders.Church offering that we've been talking about the last few days. And if you haven't watched episode 49, yeah. you need to uh, just uh, with just a couple days ago, go back and watch, listen to that episode because we go through the entire uh, restructuring that's happening with leaders.church for you as a pastor to help you get better, to break barriers, to grow yourself. And uh, you'll see, uh, it just go to leaders.church forward slash grandfather because there's going to be a pricing structure change starting on uh, Friday, September 4th. But in this window, you're grandfathered yeah. in. And I want to tell you, <laughs> there is no time like the present yeah. for you to be jumping in for to take advantage of what leaders.church can offer to you so that you can be better as a pastor. That's right. Yeah. And and that really kind of goes to that mentoring component. Now that's more of a digital mentoring yeah, right. where you've got people like us, you've got other people that are uh, teaching leadership resources to help you be a, a better pastor and a better leader. Um, but then there's other people too. There, there's people that are in your church. Maybe it's a friend. Maybe it's another fellow pastor. It could be someone from a distance that you're able to correspond yeah. with regularly, talk to. Uh, but having these people in place, you need to have people that have your back. And and that's very, very important. And I'll tell you another person to have in place and a, a boatload of pastors do not have this. And that is to have a real friend. Mm -hmm. Some of the most, most isolated people anywhere are pastors yeah. who don't develop real friendships. They don't know how to. They feel it's risky. And I'm not saying you need to be buddy buddy with uh, you know a board member uh, Bill or something. So, it, but to have a real friend, if it needs to be outside the church, then get. But get that. But you need yeah. to have that in order to avoid burnout. Mm -hmm. There, you have rest in friendship, genuine friendship, and I really strongly encourage you to do that. So what, what would you tell someone if they are wanting to say, okay, I want to avoid this ministry burnout. I hear you, Dick. I've, I, you know, I understand a glass can only spill what it contains. Uh, so so what? What, what, what? what are some just practical well, things? Well, I think a very practical thing to do is for you to literally stop, rest, refresh. Now, when I say that, I know some listening and watching are saying, huh, yeah, yeah, sure. How am I going to get off this freight train going 100 miles an hour down the, down the track? Mm -hmm. uh, I get that. But if you don't put your mind to it, mm -hmm. it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. And you've got to, if, if, if you will put your mind to it and relax and have fun, you say, well, I'm, not, I'm kind of a wired up guy. I'm not sure. Well, okay, you stay that way and get burned out. You, if, if you'll if you'll pull back that's good you and and get some unprioritized time just time to read time to learn time to refresh um, and then I'd say secondly I I would be seeking uh, answers from other people you know these people that have gone the road before you yeah your there be it'd be a pretty rare person who is facing something today in ministry that somebody else hasn't faced. Yeah. And so seek out those people, uh, talk to them, yep. and you'll find refreshment coming to you if you'll do these two things. Yeah. I think that's good. The key is, though, you have to remember the principle that is that really the, the framework for this discussion today is that a glass can only spill what it contains. Yeah. And if you're going to keep pouring out, 
you can only pour out so much of you before you have to pour back you're empty. into you're you. Empty. And so you've got to pour back into you as well. And th- these uh, those ideas that you have, those are great ways. Just well, to- and uh, this makes me, re- when you just said that, re- there's a book out there. We'll, we'll be sure to get the note in there, Leading on Empty, um, and which is a phenomenal book f- that really c- chronicles the journey a pastor's walk through when you're trying to lead on empty. I'm just telling you, that's a loser. Yeah. You cannot lead on empty. Right. You've got to re fill your glass. Yep. So make sure to do these things that we're talking about. Fill that fill that glass regularly. Invest in yourself regularly. Obviously, we'd love to have you invest in uh, yourself through the Leaders.Church membership during this special window. Uh, but regardless, the key is you have to fill your glass yep. full. And uh, that's what's going to help you uh, stay fresh, stay strong, avoid the burnout, and be the pastor and the ministry leader that God wants you to yep. be. Exactly. So, exactly. All right. Well, we're glad to have had you uh, on this particular episode. We hope you uh, have a great day today and uh, be blessed. Stay after it, my friend. Hey, Jonathan here. Real quick before you go. Everything in your ministry rises and falls on your leadership. So investing in your leadership is essential to staying healthy and growing the ministry. And that's why I want to invite you to join us inside the Leaders.Church membership. This online streaming service for pastors gives you access to more than 300 videos plus training material to level up your leadership and improve your ministry skills. If you'd like to do that, I want to invite you to go to leaders.church slash boost. Again, that's leaders.church slash boost. Well, thanks again for joining us on the Church Tips Podcast. We'll look forward to seeing you next time.